Hi kids, I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe at home in this uh, weird time. But here I am again bringing you another story. And this time it's another well-known story titled David and Goliath, or in Spanish, David and Goliath. And the story can be found in 1 Samuel 17, chapter 17, verses 17 through 51. All right. Um, you've probably heard about it, but I like going over old stories or classic Bible stories because every time we learn, every time we read them, we can learn something new. All right. So here it goes. All right. One day as David was caring for the sheep, his father said, Take this food to your brothers and see how they're doing. David's brothers were in King Saul's army. So his father's request meant David had to go to the camp, to the battleground. Arriving at the battlefield, David heard Goliath challenge Saul's army to send someone out to fight him. David offered to fight the giant. Nearby soldiers ran to tell Saul, You cannot do this! Saul said to David, You are only a boy. David chose five smooth stones, then walked toward the Philistine camp. When Goliath saw David, he laughed and said, Ha ha ha! You're just a child! David said, You have your sword and spear for protection. But God is my protection. David placed a stone in the slingshot and threw the stone straight toward Goliath. It struck him in the center of the forehead. The giant fell down. Young David, armed with great faith in God, had defeated the giant and the Philistine armies ran away. And it wasn't David who was powerful or the stones. It was the fact that David trusted in God and he was sure that God will give, would give him the victory that day. That's why he was able to take Goliath down. It wasn't because of the stones. It wasn't because um, David was powerful enough. It was because he trusted God above all things all right and here's David in front of Goliath so que nosotros podemos aprender oye como te dije anteriormente David no no pudo vencer al gigante porque las piedras eran mágicas porque eso no es posible o porque él tenía poder por sí solo no David pudo vencer a Goliat porque él confiaba plenamente en Dios y Dios fue quien le dio la victoria porque toda su fe estaba depositada en Dios y en que Dios le iba a dar la victoria y así como Dios le dio la victoria a David frente a Goliat oye, nosotros podemos tener la victoria frente a cada problema, situación o asunto que nosotros tengamos que enfrentar siempre y cuando tengamos la confianza puesta en Dios y tengamos fe de que Dios o sea, fe, la seguridad, estemos seguros de que Dios está con nosotros y así como estuvo con David y con los israelitas, también está, ha estado y estará con nosotros por siempre. Así que todos los días pongamos nuestra confianza en Dios, quien es que nos provee todo lo que necesitamos, quien está para nosotros en todo tiempo y quien nos puede dar la victoria frente a los problemas y las situaciones que nosotros podamos enfrentar. ¿Ok? Así que... Vamos a orar. Let's pray so that we can um, finish up with the devotional. All right? Let's pray. Pray us. So close your eyes. Dear God, we thank you for this day that you've given us. And thank you for stories like David where we learn that we continue to learn that we can trust you above everything else. And just like you gave David the victory in front of Goliath, you can give us the victory too. Help us to trust you and put our lives in your hands not just today, but every single day of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a good day. Bye.